Welcome to the Big Bear Homestead. And today, we're rescuing a beehive. Okay, so today we are rescuing a beehive. Today we are down here in Augusta, Georgia, meeting up with my old mentor who just pulled up and we are rescuing a beehive. He's got an old beehive, he's moving out of the state of Georgia and he can't take the bees with him. So he called me and I am going to take the bees with me. Okay, what is happening is we've ratchet strapped the hive bodies basically together. So that way when we pick it up, we don't have to worry about them teeter-tottering or moving. My son is gonna back his truck up to the gate and we are going to pick it up, slide it into the back of his truck, close the tailgate and boogie on down the road. He's gonna drive in a bee suit for a couple of blocks or I'll drive in the bee suit for a couple of blocks enough to get the bees away because there are still some bees on the outside. All right, so I got bees flying around me so it's not real safe for Robin to be here. So we're gonna stop right here and she's gonna try to video from as far as we can. We have to do it with the GoPro and it's raining and it's overcast. So I do apologize about the quality of the video, but I wanted to try to get this together for you guys. And there it is. Next stop, Elberton, Georgia. Okay, so we got the bees home last night. Now we're walking out there to do an inspection and to change out a deep hive body because we noticed once we got them in the back of the truck, the one hive body had a hole in it. So we're gonna change that out so I can take it into the wood shop and fix it for later on down the road. And we're gonna see what, how strong the hive really is and what we need to do to make sure they overwinter well. So come on. Okay, remember this is a wild swarm so they're gonna be super aggressive so they might hit the, the lens and stuff but don't panic, you guys are safe. Ready? Good job. Good like that. Alright, let's smoke them some more. Okay, here we go. Dead bees on the top. That was unfortunately that was a jump. Did they shoot? Or was that like that? I don't know. Just looking at the little valley in the inner cover. Very nervous this very this inner cover. 
kind of hard to pry off. That means they probably have built comb across the top. And I can smell the honey. Yep, they gum it. Alright, see if you can get a shot of that. That's not good. That's not good for us at all. There's a whole panel right there. Yeah, there it is. Goodness. That's not good. That's not good at all. Go cheese. Okay. It looks like they're pretty strong. They may not miss that. I'm looking at a lot of, a lot of capped. some. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Now, leave that like that. Where's another that new deep? Right behind me. Right behind me? Yeah, on the compost.
look like what happened is in the old hive, the wax moss moved in and destroyed it. Yeah, that's all dead. All dead kind. Quickly, just yeah, I'll hold that. Just don't run. Okay, what I'm doing is taking this junk here and just getting rid of it. Now, what we may have done by doing this is we may have saved this hive from a wax moth infestation. So I just got to figure out how I'm going to manipulate this box with this. I think I'm going to do some fancy bee work here. And uh, I just love bees. Oh, we're waiting on the bottom board. I just want to tell you how much I absolutely just love beekeeping. It is one of the best joys in homesteading, in my opinion. We can take a box of bees like this and you put it in the hive, you babysit it for a little while, and then you harvest the gold, you harvest the honey, and you are able to turn a profit then, in most cases. So, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Did you just fall down? Did you fall down? You did, didn't you? I hit something. <laughs> I hit something. <laughs> All right, here, take the camera back. Let me check this. Out. Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess I could slide that in there. That's what I was thinking, slide in the spot where you can't quite fit the frame. Top one? In the bottom one. Either, I mean, you could do either one. Let's put it in the bottom one. Because it's got a lot of brood in it. Right, so it, yeah. Make it work. I think I just got stung in the throat. Yeah, I got tagged on the arm. Okay, is it all lined up? Looks pretty good. Alright, go get me another empty beat. Okay, fancy bee work. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top while we wait for the blaze. Like such. Now, what we're gonna do is literally just slide the top feeder over top of the interscoping cover because of that comb hanging. Now, normally I would cut that comb away. But because this is the very first time I'm going into the hive, I'm choosing to leave it that way until I start to see more activity of them building in the bottom box and in all these frames up here in the top. Once I see some hardcore activity of that, then I will cut that away from the interscoping cover and uh, let them do with it as they wish. 
Um, we're getting ready, like I said, we're getting ready to feed them with a top feeder. And we'll be back out here to check on them probably in the next three or four days. Um, we'll leave this stuff out here tonight. You know what? Let me look at this real quick before I make that decision. Let's see. Uh, smash some eggs in here. A couple of eggs in here. I may slide this one back in there too. Look at pupa. See, look at that. I wish I could tell if you guys could see it or not. But those are baby bees coming out. So I need to slide this one back in there also. This right here this may just be honey. It's right over here by the entrance. Okay. Let them go with it from that. Same way with this. I'll put this over here right by the entrance. And so I let go. I guess kind of shake these guys off. They have stung the GoPro multiple <laughs> times. That's how aggressive these guys are. But, but look at that. That's what made the old hive go away. And this new, more aggressive wild swarm took over. And I believe they probably put a, put a, a they killed out all those wax moths. And that's why they were in the top brood chamber only and maybe starting to go to recover the bottom sections. But we're not going to make them fight over that. We're going to go ahead and just give them some new. All right, so this is what we're putting in here. This is called a top feeder. What happens is this will sit on top of the hive over there. And like I said, we're going to leave the inner scoping cover down there where they'll have to come through the hole down up through there but they'll be able to come through here and get all of the syrup through there did you wash this out real good all right so i'm going to take this from blaze I can probably slide it right there beside where it would fall in. You ready? Yep. Whoa. Oh, I thought we were putting it in the top. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Lined up? Yep. No, 
Yeah, the holes aren't until the very top. You could even put more in. The holes are right here on the top part. Okay, I see it. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. But they can... What they do, yeah, see how they're coming up? And then they can crawl down the mesh. Yeah. You think I should put some more in? Um... What do you think? Put a little bit more in just because, I mean, we thought they were going to have something in those other two, and they didn't. They're pretty much starting with one. That's a good, that's a good point. I mean, they are definitely strong. All right, right there. And the other side. Oops, don't do that. Right there. There you go. This is my only concern with this. Come look at this side. <laughs> That's a little vent thing that can come in and out. It'd be okay. That's how the inner cover should look. Tonight, all of these guys should be back in there. All these girls should be back in there. That way we can just pull this away and burn it. So, there we go. That's the big surprise. We rescued a beehive from Augusta, Georgia, and we brought it up here to Elberton, and we're getting it established. So, if you guys, hey, if you guys enjoyed this, hey, let us know in the comments. You know, give us the old thumbs up. If you have any questions about this process, let us know in the comments and if you've ever done this hey guess what let us know in the comments we appreciate you guys coming by don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and thank you guys for coming by the big bear homestead and like always have a nice day <laughs>